For the purpose of this video, I went back to Clockwork Recovery because I just did the video on how to install it using a computer and a one-click program. So there's Clockwork Recovery. I'm going to reboot back to system and show you how this is done. While you're in here, you could easily go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and apply the zip. And that would give you Team Win Recovery 2.0. But I'm going to show you the easiest way possible to do this using an app. I'm going to warn you, this process requires a $1 app from the Android market. Open up the market and you'll search for Flash Image GUI. I have already bought it, so I'm going to open it. I support Joey Krim. If you've had a Samsung device, you've heard of Joey Krim easily. Now on recovery, you do not check clear cache or clear Dalvik. Browse. First of all, you have to have the files on your SD card. So now I'm using Chrome to phone on the browser and it just sent the link to my phone. You can put the image on your SD card or you can put the zip right there. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you that you can use a zip. If you have ROM manager installed, you can reboot into recovery and apply the zip, but I'm going to do it the cooler way of using flash image GUI. Now that that zip is on my SD card, I'm going to go to downloads and you'll see this one right here, RC0 2.0 and then I click flash and it wants me to confirm before flashing. Just give it a minute. Successfully executed the command. So you can either put the dot image or the dot zip. I would recommend putting the dot zip just in case you need to do this in clockwork recovery. Now I'm going to reboot into recovery and show you that I have team win recovery project 2.0. Bam, you saw that I had Clockwork Recovery, and that was a $1 app from an awesome developer where you can flash kernels and recoveries inside your system, even with HBoot 1.5. I'm assuming they're going to fix the 10% battery issue and get it working right, but to be completely fair, Clockwork Recovery doesn't even have that option. I ran through the quick options in my last video, but I'll go ahead and do it from here. You choose your zip that you want to install, the soft buttons work, you can wipe your your cache, factory reset, rotation, SD card, SDST. You can choose each one you want to do. You can back up your phone. You can choose what all you want to back up. You can restore from choosing a restore that you've done. You can mount your SD card so you can transfer files from your computer without actually rebooting the system and mounting your SD card. Very helpful if you've wiped your phone and can't boot the system. Under settings, I'll zoom in on this. There's all the settings for now. Keep in mind, this is RC0, so this will be updated and in time get better and better. Advanced, fix permissions, partition SD card, copy log to SD, and reboot. You have power off, bootloader, recovery, and system. I'm going to choose system so I can go back to the phone. If you don't want to give a dollar to an awesome developer, I mean, all you got to do is charge it to your Sprint bill. Then I would highly recommend just downloading a zip, and when it's done, Click on ROM Manager and then click the OK and it will reboot to recovery and install the new uh, Team Win Recovery project recovery. I said this in the last video that I just made, but I am getting a Kindle Fire and a Transformer Prime. I'm getting both. Uh, the Kindle Fire I'll get uh, before the end of this month. So they have Team Win Recovery Project 2.0 ported to the Kindle Fire as well, which is awesome because the Kindle Fire only has one button, which is power. So with Team Win Recovery Project, you can use all your normal recovery functions because it's touchscreen and doesn't require any buttons. This is What Would Josh Do? And this is a first look at how to install touchscreen recovery on your HTC Evo 3D just using an app. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.